Hello, I'm Joshua, Josh Recordings, and today we are recharging the air conditioner on this 1985 Corvette. So, uh, I already got the, uh, the gauge set hooked up. I'm just going to grab one of our cans of R12 Freon. And those are set up something like this. Just put the top on like that. And you flip that around until it's snug, not too tight, so you don't want to pop off the top of the can. Now I'll screw this in until it's snug. Alright, so we'll connect the charging hose. Turns. Turn this down until the can's pierced. Then we'll open up the valve. All right, our first can is tapped. Now we'll uh, purge the line so we don't end up putting air into the AC system because that's a bad idea. Start the car. Make sure that's all on there tight. Let's see where to put my keys. right now so we definitely need to uh, add quite a bit of Freon. So what we do for that is turn the pan upside down, open up the valve, turn that down with a little stabilize. empty. pressure chart so I can see probably about what uh, they should be running at. As you can see it's a little bit of pipe a little bit frosty and it shouldn't be like that. So it's 
thoroughly about, uh, let's say, you know, should have the pressure to run 30 psi when the engine's wrapped. Right now it's sitting at 30 psi, but we're at idle. So, a little bit more. That looks like that's all, the way, all that backhand rope. So, see what we get up later. The are much better right now. Pressure's still a bit low, so let's uh, close this valve up. Take this off. Residual pressure there. Don't tell the EPA. A little bit, a little bit of residual pressure. Not enough that it's going to have to go to the system. Try not the whole can, but we're in for a bit, and that pressure's still a bit low. But. Well, it's going pretty cold, as you can see. You put your hand from the uh, tent. <laughs> so the thing is, when you wrap the engine, the pressure's still pretty low. Yeah, I'm pretty good. 